Friday. I don't know what the hell day it's going to be when this drops. But we are going to go pick up a new gun. I just got a call that it came in. I had to order it online again, etc., etc. So we're on our way to the gun shop to pick up a new bang bang. Welcome all you to the uh, Professional Monkey channel. If you haven't been on before, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we do lots of stuff, motorcycles and DIY installs and gun stuff and camping and da 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 A lot of the stuff about the Sturgis Rally and whatnot. But today we're going to pick up a new pistol um, that actually already fits the holster that lives in my bike. And a quick, a quick uh, kind of comment on that. I got a whole lot of feedback, let's call it. <laughs> I did a video about, you know, where I carry my pistol on my bike when it's not on me. It's always on me when I'm not on the bike, but when I am on the bike, it's someplace else. And let me tell you how many of you uh, brilliant, I mean, they must be spec ops. Every one of you must be special forces, you know, forward position serving absolute experts because if it's not on you, it's useless. And what are you going to do, say to the bad guy, let me go to my bag and get my gun. Da, 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 da. No, guys, I'm talking about when you're actually underway like I am right now. I'm just curious if what you're saying is, no, no, it needs to be on you even while underway. What's your plan? Do you like do you like set the cruise control before you get into the gunfight while going on the road? Or, you know, what do you do? Do you just like kind of slow down while you draw and shoot? Or, I mean, come on. I'm talking about when I'm actually rolling down the road. I want my weapons secured. That's the responsible thing to do. Why? Because bikers have accidents. Don't know if you know. And uh, when you have an accident, that weapon is no longer policed. It, uh, it can go loose, it can end up in a ditch, it can be found by a kid, it can be found by a criminal, they could be, you know, things can go bad. So what I was talking about is, while I'm rattling down the road, where do I put it? And I have a uh, paddle holster stuck into one of these little pouches in my right bag, and that's where I put my pistol, uh, my full-size pistol, which is a Taurus G3. Now, a lot of you just threw up. <laughs> I know there's this like hatred for Taurus pistols out there, and it's not that it's unfounded. I mean, it, it came from someplace, right? Um, my first gun ever, many, many, many years ago, when I had no money and was po, was a Taurus Millennium, I think it was called, whatever that was in the 90s, whatever that thing was. Uh, nine millimeter, or no, sorry, it was a 40 cal uh, Taurus, and it was always okay, never failed me once, and I used to go to the range a lot when I was younger and single, never had a problem. But then, got a little more change in my pocket, and I got into Glocks. Not that they're expensive, but you know, more expensive than a Taurus. So, I started carrying Glocks, and I went through all of them. I went through carrying a 19, a 26, a 36, a 30, a uh, 27, which, a 20, what, 23 is it? Isn't that just the, what's the 40 cal equivalent of the 19? I think it's the, the, the 23, because they're, you know, their model numbers make no sense. And... I just started buying more guns here recently. I, I hadn't bought a new one in a while. I already had a bunch and didn't need more, but I started buying some new ones because I didn't have a full-size nine, and I didn't have a 1911, and I, believe it or not, didn't have a shotgun. So in the last year, I bought a uh, a Mossberg, it's the equivalent of the Remington, what, the 500? I can't remember. <laughs> Freaking 12-gauge pump with a long tube. Mossberg and played with it a bit. And because it was crazy cheap and it had it, they had it in stock when I bought the shotgun, the same day I bought the shotgun, I bought a Taurus G3, um, which is a Glock off. <laughs> Striker fired, nine millimeter, not really a full size. I've seen it compared a lot to the Glock 19 and it really isn't. I'll, I'll do a video when I get home, you know, showing all this stuff, my, my G3. And now what we're going to pick up is a G3C. Uh, and the reason why I bought the G3C is for several reasons. Um, I car currently carry a Glock 43, which is a single stack nine, which is of course fine and dandy. And it's, uh, I put an extension on the mag. So I think it's like nine in the mag and one in the chamber. And I just wanted to go up to a little higher capacity and some with a little fuller grip. Even though I put the extension on there, I just want something with a larger grip. And after I bought this G3, I'm telling you, I really like it. Like it's, it's, it's one of those things that 
the price is what scares you of it because when you tear it down and you play well, not play with it you never play with guns but you know when you tear it down um you rack you know run line, rounds through it etc cetera, etc cetera. um it's just a really good feeling pistol even though i paid 350 for it 350 um and then i started doing a little watching youtube videos and stuff and you start seeing that i'm not the only one that likes these new g3s everyone likes them like uh there are negative reviews out there but i feel like they're reviews of people who decided it was negative before it was ever in their hands you know what i'm talking about they're like taurus is bad so i'm gonna get this and and i'm gonna review it and i've already decided it's bad let me just tell you why and that's that's not that's not you know being completely honest so um i started looking at the g3c as an alternative to say going back to a 26 a glock or something and um g3c reviews by and large are really really positive i mean i like this bike with the decibel reducers out um anyway uh hickok 45 really really liked it and that means everything to me if hickok 45 likes something you know i i uh I'm probably already a fan of it <laughs> uh, the guy is brilliant he knows this stuff and he reminds me of my grandfather i've heard i've heard a lot of people say that they remind me of my papa you know like knows everything about guns been around the world a couple million times and has a lot of knowledge a lot of these youtube channels you know if 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 he doesn't say your name and then say united states marine corps retired afterward i i kind of take everything you say with a grain of salt if you're not 70 years old <laughs> my opinion if you're not 70 years old and have a whole lot of uh experience in law enforcement or military service i really don't care what your what your opinion is because you watch a lot of youtube videos and go to the, the, the range a lot i mean good for you but i want expertise from someone who has decades of experience and or has uh fired these let's say at a living thing <laughs> so you know that's that's what i value and when hickok's like this g3c is amazing uh and a really good gun for the price then i was really interested so poked around online and actually found it on the shoot straight website um uh, shoot straight is a chain of gun stores in the state of florida only in the state of florida um and they're pretty big and since you moved up, I moved up here to Palm Beach a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago, I guess it's been, um, they're my source. I had other sources when I lived further south, close to Lauderdale, small mom and pops that I really liked, but there's just, I haven't found one up here I like, so shoot straight it is. And I poked around on Buds and a couple other sites, and uh, shoot straight had it in stock. So their deal is you can buy it from their, their quote unquote online inventory, and they'll throw it in a van and take it over to your closest store. So got a call that it's here and it's checked in so now i just got to go fill out my wonderful paperwork it's already paid for and then uh bring her home so next video will be me at home with the pistol in hand and we'll do a little g3 versus g3c stack up on features and stuff no i won't be taking it to the range in a video anytime soon because i am cheap <laughs> and all the ammo i have is defense ammo i have quite a bit of it but i don't have any like full metal jacket you know hardball crap that i can take to a range and just rattle through i need i don't want to you know go to the range and it cost me 500 dollars. so um we'll be back in a bit to uh look at the new the new cheap everyday carry i'll tell you what if i didn't have bad luck i wouldn't have any luck at all so i ordered my um uh, my pistol on shoot straight's website because they have of course inventory in all their stores and they also have uh beep 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 um they also have an online like warehouse inventory that you can order and uh they'll bring it to the uh closest store for you so that's what i did and uh it came in yesterday and i got a call today that it had been checked in whatever the hell that means and that i could come get it and i went to get it and filled out my form and all my stuff paid them my five dollars and picked up a box of ammo they had some ammo not the best deal of my life but ammo nonetheless and uh federal background check system went down <laughs> like the second my paperwork was done the system took a shit and uh 
there's me and seven other dudes waiting just just for that little clearance so everything's done paperwork's filled out but they can't give me the gun until the uh the man says i can take it home so in a minute I, now that I've left, you know, I'll get a call before I get home <laughs> saying, uh, come get her. And then I'll turn around and come back and get it. So, momentary delay. But that's okay. So, I'll check back in. Hopefully, the next thing in this video is me standing over the golf cart in the garage going, here's my new bang bang. But uh, we'll see. I don't remember. Is it sadists or masochists that like to be abused? I can't remember which one it is. Whichever it is, if that's your thing, come on down to Florida because we have the most abusive stores and <laughs> customer service people in the country and, and you're welcome to come down and give them money in exchange for attitude and poor service. So um, I'm back from Shoot Straight now for the second time and uh, they suck. <laughs> they just do. I, you know, like, you guys know that like, I, I, I manage projects around the world and I believe that you should have a smile on your face and if you are good enough to give me your money for me to do something for you, I should do it well, quickly and under control and with a smile. You know, I don't know, maybe it's being from the Midwest or whatever it is, but down here evidently we are customers of convenience for them and uh, whatnot. So anyway, so I went and I bought on their website and then a truck takes the central uh, uh, inventory. This is not Bud's Gun Shop. This is bought from Shoot Straight and they take it out to all the stores and then it takes like a week and then you go pick it up. So I walk in um, having been notified that it was there and I filled out my paperwork, gave my CWP and they ran the stuff and said, well, it's just taking forever. I don't know why. And, and up to this point, it was fine. No big deal. Waited in line and did this stuff. And then I said, and then they gave me this little piece of paper or the QR code I could check my own status. So I left. And I even joked with the girl. I said, you know, the second I get home, it'll be clear. Um, I went to the store, got home, checked, and I was exactly right. <laughs> it was cleared and ready to go the second I got home. No, that's not their fault. Uh, and then I go pick it up. I pull I pull in the, the place. I walk in, and I see the girl, and she goes, can I help you? I'm like, yeah, I was just here, you know, background check. And she's like, oh, I'm giving a class now. You have to wait in line. I'm like, I already waited in line. I'm, I'm the guy with, I just got to pick it up. You know, you got to wait in line. So I had to wait in line again. <laughs> Find five people that were just starting their gun buying process and starting, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, just hand me. Good God. And uh, a 12 year old with attitude helped me and whatnot. So shoot straight. You need some training, boys. Anyway, um, so I'm home with this now. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my G3 full size and this new G3C. I have not opened the box yet. Um, but uh, we'll do a bit of comparison. So I said earlier how much I actually really like this G3. I, I legitimately, so uh, yes, this is Florida, so I can sit here and look at guns in an open garage. It's fine, Florida man and all, right? So before we even open the box of the G3C, there's the G3. I'm not taking my grip glove off. I did buy a grip glove for it, I like these things. Gives you nice finger grooves and feels good in the hand, but you can see here, hang on, just because I know, I've already cleared it, you can see all there's ammo, but just to be safe, Clear. All right. So, um, dimensions are Glock 19 ish, right? And they compare this a lot to a Glock 19. Sights are okay. Three dots. Um, loaded chamber indicator pops out. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, from up here. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it has a manual safety. I don't like safeties. Um, nice front serrations. This is, of course, the one with the stainless slide, which I think is actually a Tenefer coat. And it comes with, this is the re reason why I don't compare it directly to a Glock 19, is it comes with both your 15-round mag and a 17-round mag with a little, you know, adapter plate. So it's, uh, with the 17-round mag in it, it's a full, full grip. You know, I've got bare paw hands and no problem. So, again, the only thing I don't like about this weapon is I don't like safeties. And it's got a good trigger. Trigger feels nice. Something it has that a Glock doesn't, a reset. So, bad primer or something, you can go at it a couple more times with this. You cannot do that with a Glock. And I am a Glock fan, so it's not like I'm knocking them, but that's the G3. I have not even opened the box of G3C yet. Let's do that now. So, this is really a pistol that doesn't have a comparable sort of Glock, right? Terrible noise. 
<laughs> so, go ahead and take that guy out. Stickers, I don't take all that crap off earlier. So we have one 12 round, you can't see, one 12 round mag. It comes with three mags, all right? So you got a 12, a, another 12, and another 12. So three 12s. I honestly didn't know if it had one with an extension or whatever, but um, also has a reset, second fire, et cetera, et cetera. Also has, and this is Tenifer coated. A couple differences between the, the, the old um, G3 uh, G2C and the G3C is the G2, G, the G2C had these like reliefs cut out of the slime uh, and was parkerized. The G3C has front serrations um, and is a tenifer coat, more something similar that you'd get on the Glock. It's kind of a rough finish though, if I'm honest. I mean, you know, again, this, this pistol was tree fitty, so the finish is not as nice as a Glock, but I'll tell you right now, um, I like the shape and the size. It's, it's uh, slightly wider than my Glock 43, not a ton. Uh, but this is a double stack. Woo! That one, I'll tell you what, that, that spring works. <laughs> She's going to drop free, no problem. Um, so it's a 12 round double stack, full grip. So I was sort of liking it to a 43X, I guess. But it's a double stack. Good grips. I mean, they might tear you up, to be honest. Uh, good sights. This was actually one of the really selling points for me is these are... Glock sights. I mean, these sights are not made by Glock. I'm saying it's exactly the same dovetail, etc. For you to put any sight for a Glock is going to go on this guy. So you're basically buying, you know, your 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 night sights for a Glock 19, whatever, are going to go right in here just fine. Um, I think I've already beat this to death, but again, I don't like safeties, but it's got one. Someone actually commented in an earlier video a while ago that you just put some super glue right there. <laughs> you don't have that problem anymore. So, you know, you can do that. I'll tell you what, that mag comes out. Like, you're just launching that sucker. So, so three 12 round mags. You're gun locked. It does come in a cardboard box, but come on, man. It's pre fitted. And you're going to pay what I'm seeing. Actually, it shoots straight. Um, for the terrible service they give you, you're probably going to pay about uh, $6.99 or so right now. Honestly, about $6.99 for a uh, Glock 19 down here. Um, so, comparison, $349, $6.99. Um, I'd rather have two of these or, 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 or this and this, you know what I mean? For the same money, you got your full size and your compact. So maybe that's the point of this video. This is the price of one Glock 19, both of these guys. You got a 17 and a 15, three 12s, um, decent sights. You can still put your night sights in there. Um, takedown's not bad. I think he's just uh, very Glockish. You just, you just got to push. Yeah. The difference is you have to push the slide off. Um, after you've you know fired it, pulled down the lever, you just gotta push the slide off. That's the only difference. And then yeah, so um nothing to it. I mean it's it's a nice pistol. I like the serrations actually. You can do that sort of like on oh, special forces. Um <laughs> chamber check, and whatnot. Um so I'm a fan. I mean that really is about it for these two. Let me know what questions you got. Um I, I know I'm spending your money and I apologize for that in advance, but if you're looking at a $700 Glock 19, same price, you can get two different sizes of, of G3, or you can get just a G3C if you're going to carry that instead of a Glock 43. I truly believe this gun is going to go bang every time. If you don't trust me, then look at some of the other channels out there. Um, I've seen, again, I, I, I think I said this before, but I've seen some sort of negative review videos, but I feel like those negative reviews, those people had decided before they ever turned a camera on what they were going to say about it. Um, if Hickok 45... Is, 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 is pleasantly surprised and says, wow, that's a great pistol and a reliable shooter. It's a great pistol and a reliable shooter. So, tree fitty. Go out there and grab yourself a G3C. Could be a good truck gun, could be a backup, could be whatever you want. I'm gonna carry it. You can, that's another thing. This is a pretty commonly made pistol. It's not, you know, Tauruses used to be when they, had a, when they were having trouble, because uh, they did. They used to have trouble, they used to have some bad product out there and you couldn't find decent, um, holsters and accessories and mags that's not the case for these g3s and g3cs it's it's a it's it's a very very common pistol uh you know what i'm gonna check something real quick i believe that all these g3s are interchangeable on mags not that it would matter and they are look at that there's a 15 rounder from the from the full size and i'm sure the 17 though because why, why wouldn't it 
Yep. So there's 17 round mag. Now there's no adapter plate or uh, there's no collar for this, you know, to fill that out yet. Maybe someone will come out with one. But uh, yeah, so all these mags are interchangeable from the large one to the small one. So there's another thing. So let me know your thoughts. I want to know concerns, questions. Am I a total idiot? I mean, you're going to say yes, because gun dudes are rude a lot of time. <laughs> Not all of you, but some of you, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. Take care of each other out there. We'll talk soon. Um, bye.